Salutation, darlings. Azorwing here, bringing you some more Genshin Impact. Last time. Well, last time we did one of the prerequisite quests for... <laughs> Charomatic Ode of Candies and Roses. Oh, we're doing that other recommended quest. Caravana, caravana? Shoo! Shoo! Dog! Shoo! Go! Go lay down! Go! Go lay down! Shoo! Stop getting into stuff! Go lay down! Yeah, little bugger look. <laughs> okay. Caravina of good and evil. As the Caravina light shows. Am I saying it wrong? Probably. I would not at all be surprised in the slightest. Anywho, I have no idea what the context is behind who this guy is. He just is. Also, we're not doing a story quest or a world quest. Wait, I mean, we're doing a world quest, not a story quest or an archon quest. So, I just use whatever team. Lady Shureth, your present form is most astounding indeed. Oh, right, I remember. We were adventuring with Sh Shureth. Shureth. This little creature here who, yeah, we've been exploring the Desworth. We need to purify something, I think. I forget exactly. It's been a while. It's been, it's been a while. This is Sumeru. We've had both... Uh, We've had not only Netland, but also Fontaine in between what's happened here. Kissing upon your mighty form, I know in my heart you must have been crowned by the bloom guard of the Vipari, acknowledged by all. Snarnal non-human, this was my calling from the beginning. Of course, of course, such majesty is only to be expected from... from okay okay from um avoid one who shall obtain the great songs of caravina and indeed your words are most indeed your words are most sooner to be inscribed in the hymns that shall be written in mine honor right i forgot how uppity shirth was <laughs> Huh, and there's your tea still as usual self. I am just not sure how to feel about this. Ah, yes, yep. It's Yan, Yan Patsi Baimon. You two deserve thanks in this matter. Though your endeavors are not but an afterglow of the envoy's mighty works, your labor and lady sure success full obtaining of her crown shall not be void. Shall not be voided. And yes, the thing on her, like, that's her, and she's wearing this headpiece that matches her very well. Perfect. Practically perfect, in fact. It's not out with Bunny, but we'll just take this as your way of saying thanks. Mm -hmm. Our mission now is to search for the great songs of Caravina and the long-awaited rite. And the long-awaited rite may then be performed. Speaking of the great songs, they're inexplicably linked to the destiny of us skeptics. Uh, is this story time again? But Savannah said that you guys shouldn't know about the Great Song's existence, you know? Yes, it is even, It is indeed true that the ancient rites have stopped being passed down through the, our order. If I had relied solely on our traditions, I suspect that even the rite of Shinvat might be shrouded in mystery. But I gained access to a large batch of long-lost documents from a very learned scholar. That was where I learned about the Great Songs. These documents recorded a great number of things in the traditional lines. That the traditional hymns of our order never written of. But it also inspired me in the desire to reform our order. That doesn't really help, you know. Your traditions are already pretty suspect. How are we supposed to trust these documents, then? They might have come out of nowhere for all we know. 
Enough. These side shows are not fit to be written into my songs. If you so wish to tell truth from falsehood, then let us go see for ourselves rather than quibble here. Why, if I do not offer myself up as sacrifice to save this land soon, those who come after me may read these texts and suspect that it was the spirit of laxity. I don't know, how could that be? I do not believe that any would hold such contemptuous thoughts. Hmm, I'm a thanks. You just want us to hurry up and collect those great caravina shrith. Wait, since when did Paima become your translator? Huh, I think that you, pale floater, should understand my thoughts best. Since it is your... <clears throat> since it is your command, great envoy, allow me to lead the way. It seems you have attained one of the great songs. It's just as well, then, that I have discovered the locations of the remaining four. Although I have not been to those underground ruins myself, I am as familiar with them as I am with this camp. Seems like an overstatement, but all right. <laughs> well, the great songs are items that I do desire to win, especially after all that effort. <clears throat> yeah. well, let's not speak of unrelated matters. Come with me, everyone. Okay. I'm like, it's all coming back. This guy, in particular, is incredibly suspicious. Like, could his intentions be benign? Potentially, yes. But also, if so... <sighs> that is... A mighty big coincidence. Basically, there's so many coincidences going on around here that's just like, and how do you know this? And how do you... But there's also enough to say that, yeah, he could be legit. Like, yes, it would make this sense for him me. to know this stuff. <laughs> this is one of those situations where it's just like, better is safe than sorry. Also, what we can do with her is we can go around. Um, she does this little thing, which can affect various things around. Got a little dart here. Look, we do this. We can absorb the power here, and then. Uh, hmm. The sun's making. Bada bing, bada boom. I wasn't expecting a chest there. But I thought I already got it. I've been over this bridge so many times. very much wandered through a lot of these areas. I'm not saying I've wandered through all of them, but <laughs> these strange <laughs> these strange seals have been after after Sirius gains the twin horn capulet, so the thing on her head, she can use its power to temporarily dispel them horse. Okay. So that would explain like why before It's like we can't interact with things like that, but guess who can? Found another great caravana if we hadn't lowered the water level, something, something. Oh, 
When it says for a short while, it really does mean a short while. Like, I just took a moment to get my bearings straight. Anywho, got that one over there. Hmm. I say, where are we going? But yes, for me, this land is still a bit corrupted. There's... It's like there's peace to be brought to this world. the moon for a second. Anywho, uh, our conundrum, as I'll call it, comes from Shurith here wanting to sacrifice herself. And it's like, to say we're land, and we're just like, maybe we can find a way of not sacrificing you and saving your land at the same time. <sighs> Pretty sure I already got this one. Yeah. Also, this thing, which was petrified, which is crazy. We're, we're just hitting all the spots. <laughs> Everything was basically ready to happen. <laughs> mm. I'm like, I don't think I got that sure. I don't think I got that sure, Amber. just don't feel like getting in a fight with enemies. Okay, this thing has been bothering me forever. I was just like, wow. It seems that the runes are the great song of our lives are just behind these vines. Okay, if you please open the way for us. Open the way within for us. Ha ha, I hear the voice of destiny summoning me forth. 
<laughs> we should probably keep a distance from these two. Okay, so I just had to wait for the quest, which makes sense. A lot of time. A lot of quests have you. True that it's Rover's tree, isn't it? Behold, the moment of destiny is at hand. This, this is just an arm mechanical door. <clears throat> I meant to say, as long as we open this mechanical door, we'll gain access to the ruins. Aha, that's my first time entering a door on ruin, you know? So, is it so surprising that I might be excited? You seem sound and so confident earlier that Paimon thought you must have explored loads of ruins. Aha, well, I can't claim to have personally explored them, but with this copy of Rune. Also, he reminds me of, like, a, a Sumeru scholar, so that's why I'm, like, so suspicious of him. Rune investigation notes. Have you never heard of it? I thought the only sequit stirred in a distant desert such as I. The have you never heard of it? I thought that only one in a distant desert as I would not have heard such a brilliant scholar. Did not contain a lot of records left by people of Dory. Dory? Okay. <laughs> According to these authors, he once discovered knowledge that surpassed mortals in these rooms. That sounds hard to believe by the moment. I'm leaving that aside for the moment. Now that we have these notes, entering the door on ruins should be a simple matter. If you don't believe me, let's test this. For example, if we'd like to open this device. Oh, there we go. Turn the gears such that all three types of runes are displayed. Ensure that the square rune is connected to the triangular rune at the bottom without changing said triangle. Simply do as I instruct and we should be fine. Mm hmm. Also, these things are basically petty, petty, original Perry of the Force. Basically, they're spirits who were fighting a battle and, you know, as tend to happen, have died. But they don't quite realize it. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Is there anything we can do to help? Um, everyone's lost here. Maybe we could go back together. <laughs> then it was sure. Th uh. 
I was gonna say that better be like the farthest. And here we sure if we then what we need. Sheriff sure knows how to get things done, but she's not very good at talking to people. <laughs> Thank you so much. We can finally go home. And the area becomes lush and goes a long way. And the area becomes lush and active once more. There's at least three more that I'm looking for in this area. I'm not sure what these stars are. I'll have to check them out another time. But yeah, over here-ish? Somewhere over here. Here? Yeah, actually here. Oh my god, I was off by a degree or two. Over here is where you essentially return the spirits. Rotate the device, change the cipher displayed on it. When the cipher is correctly displayed, the device will be unlocked. Turn the gears such as all three types of runes are displayed. Ensure that the square rune is connected to the triangle at the bottom. Okay, so triangles at the bottom, then square. That time it came in handy, just this once. See, surprised you didn't I? Oh, let's explore these runes further. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like I finally reached the heart of these ruins. Now then, as one, as the one among us who has done the most fair amount of research in Darahan ruins, allow me to tell you all about it. According to the notes I have, this was once a proving ground where the Daharns would conduct research and tests. Okay. The great song of Garavino we seek is at the deepest part of this facility. If we want to reach it, we'll have to. Schematic clipped inside. So we go to these locations, turn things on, this powers up, and then we can reach the thing. So that's in the corner of the schematics, and I've drawn these schematics based on the structural diagrams of workshop left in the ruins of Conrian. Left within the ruins by Conrians. Huh. The information regarding the Conria are in turn annotations I made based on, of course, this place is. Conria. Any event technological device is from Conria. That's just a good rule of thumb. The Conria and life forms were able to delve their locations. Obviously, means there are no power pulling strings. We just become believe that we that the reliance on the power of the specific ecological well, ecology means that we need not expect too much time looking into it. You're just saying that you've done your homework and you're fumbling about already? Well, the makeup in, of these runes is too complicated. I doubt anyone could fully understand the principles behind the mysterious machines that the Darians used from the descriptions alone. Let me see. Ah, there we go. It looks like our current position is that of the control hub uh, for the entire proving ground. If we re <sighs> hmm. If we reach, if we wish to reach the Great Song, we must first activate the entire ruin's control mechanisms. To do so, we have to solve an energy issue. So the people of Darin are said to have been able to use the power of impurity to master monsters. You know, these ruins don't do so. On the contrary, seeing that they use the form of energy known as azite, 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 is drawn from pure elemental energy before being formed into blocks. That means as long as we find the energy blocks in the, this kind, we'll be able to provide energy to these cores, after which we should be able to settle any other problems with these. That sounds troublesome. Now, if only we could simply settle this through combat. <laughs> well, let's begin then. Ah, uh, ring to go, see? This, that's the invoice, Jan's spot, indeed. Oh, 
All right. <sighs> I wonder if he. Anyway, so this is where he came. Find energy blocks. <laughs> Let me phrase it. That's the way we came. Just shut as we entered. The switch to the doors on the other end. It looks like we can't go back the same way we came. <laughs> More petrified critters. Which looks like they'll become a problem for us because this thing undoes petrification. The Temple of Wisdom! Truth repeats its course. Don't be scared. The night is cold. Hey! Hm. Hm. We'll see about that. Here over there, maybe that's the energy block we're looking for. Maybe, but in the meantime, I'm following this thing. <laughs> oh, square E square. Hold off on the immediate departure. If you found the energy lock, the next thing you should do is figure out how to get back to the room. This has been hidden here intentionally to be on death. The elder the skeptics are hiding something only while hiding within the investigation. There's all the doubts they had for me. It found to not belong to those of the blood of Connery, but it is. It is the homeland of all beings. One cast of my son is there to see everything. Yet there, the occasion of one of my son tries to see things. We have the power to transcend the abyss, the power of evolution.
see about that. Huh. Oh, mine took a nap. I see everything. Lauren, ah! too late for regret. Have fun with this gift. You. God damn it. Wow. Suddenly I don't feel so tired. Damn it. <laughs> now it lives here. Good, but I don't want to. Eh, there's this. I mean, I imagine. Um, there you go. <sighs> really bad at finding my way around because I was thinking it was the Absolutely no doubt about it. Just as a note say, hmm, you're back already. But judging from your appearance, you must have found uh, the energy block you require. Uh, examine the energy cores here, variable reserve. Now all that is needed is to install the energy block into them. And that I shall leave in your hands. Field. Now you should be able to activate the control systems. Oh, I wasn't expecting it's a problem somewhere. Seems if we could go look at the control center where the relays were, which is fine. It's on the way to proving ground all the same. Well, now it seems if control center is where you previously came from. Since that's the case, let's go together. Yeah. It just, the way you previously came from, I just saw the electrified lines and it's just like, yep. I've 
Fucking bad as I thought the problem was you realize the energy from the cores and recently we need to find a way to connect them. And the relays in place have been sealed in crystal, but since these runes don't use impurities as an energy source, they shouldn't have come to the attention of Caravan at all. If it is, this place was intentionally sealed by someone with the ability to use Caravina, but why would they do that? What are you trying to hide? Well, I suppose this can be discussed later. Our current task is still to use Caravina's power to remove the, crystal, the gray crystals that form these seals. There should be fairy, fairy wicks nearby that contain Caravina's power. I believe you can sense it too, mighty envoy. Um, of course. Are you doubting my majestic power as the bloom guard? Hardly. I would never dare. Please create an eminent envoy. Guide us. We just need to find the fire wicks, remove the gray crystals, and then use the mixer once again to connect these relays. Hmm. These underground rooms with the cardrians rely on a mysterious energy source. Uh, rotate the mixer and change the flow. When the energy is read and control device, you can activate the <laughs> hmm. Maybe we should press this on my path. Alrighty, Rue. I was just getting ahead of myself. We were coming over here anyway. Sorry, what? It's in the sewer room. <laughs> I'll check that out all later. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Look down there from above. Don't be scared. That is the wrong button. Another trucker. Here, Zeal, you can move 20% faster. I don't care that I know that you guys are angels. I want you to move faster, you little... You little nubbin. that they move faster than us is up ladders and even then only barely
I rotate this this way. didn't even notice it. Right, you poor thing. Yada yada. You can pause and read it if you want. Speaking of things I almost didn't even notice, I almost didn't even notice how I walked right past that thing. Interesting. So you can have circuits that basically lay on top of each other that don't affect one another. Okay, that was the other thing. So quickly. Hmm. 
climbing and sprinting. What you need is an energy recovery. Great envoy in her honored yawns, but I fear that this is as far as I may attend you. And what's the problem this time? According to the text, the road ahead is full of perils that no ordinary mortal may bear. Once we go in there, in here, we shall be within the proving ground that the Darians once used to test their machines. There's even an incomplete prototype of a giant machine amongst them. The copied Darian records in my notes say that this place was once modified for occasions in which monsters could be attacked, although it didn't seem much in that regard. Strange, isn't it? Why would the Darians who triggered the defiling disaster create mechanisms to fight monsters? All the same, now that we have activated the control systems for these runes, the defensive mechanisms within the proving grounds must also have been activated. The great song you're searching for should be within that goal, and though I am. The stimid, stymid, and suspect that it will prove easy for you all. Please allow me to stay here and await your return so that we may be able to sing all the great songs of Karina. Well, you are indeed but a mere human. Such a request is to be expected. By your gracious leave, then. Well, guess Najut's stepping off again. Uh, at the last moment. Still, Paimon's a lot happier now that the two of you won't be bouncing off each other for a while. Ah yes, this guy is like, oh mighty Shirth, and Shirth is like, ah yes, I am indeed mighty. Enter the proving ground. Barrier, hold person. Interact skill continuously to summon a barrier. Maintain it. Interesting. <sighs> hmm. Very interesting. A weird cannon emerge from the ground. At least there are they trying to say we should shoot that big machine over there? Hmm, such a thoughtful design. Your mentry truly is wild, pale floater. Didn't Ashura not say earlier that this place was modified from its original form as a proving ground for testing machine functionality? It appears that the device we unlocked earlier was meant to be used to activate the proving ground. It seems that the modifications did not include dismantling of the original devices. A most helpful discovery indeed. In that case, my young spot, uh, the honor of operating this cannon shall be yours. Why indeed? Is this something that we we're not aware of? These are orbs. You don't say. Defeat all opponents. So, what opponents? Ah. Uh. Regrets. 
But no, it's Penetrix will not penetrate the Caribbean. I do like that their attacks leave like these little flowers. Getting fired at out from all angles. It's not now. Look, she seems to have exhausted the power. Now that we need to feed the interested in the temple of wisdom. Kind of ruins aim at, uh, to attack the golden's core to deal a fa <laughs> for a moment I thought it said lethal damage I was like you're going there and the golem when a golem releases energy shield quickly destroy three points at each corner of the shield is oddly unwieldy. Well, let's go to that mechanism to see if we can find the great Caravina. Behold my righteous strike.
Just like, why here? It gives us nothing. Influence of abyssal power. This is exactly the same quality exhibited by the mysterious crystal that emitted previously. Yeah, I'm going to have something in the past. 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 A little goes a long way. As one might expect of the Gurian, by inner Janspot. Uh, neither the dying mechanisms nor the creature of the dev were able to stop you. Eh? When did you get here in the Nisha? Uh, why, I was watching your wondrous battle from the side, and oh, what a sight it was. Then, upon seeing that you had the great song in hand, I rushed to meet you, of course. Good work, all of you, and while we're on this topic, perhaps you might give the great songs of Caravina to me for safekeeping? I mean, well, it might. How should I say this? Give me a greater sense of my participation in the grand endeavor. We didn't do all that much from the start. And anyway, the Zervana said that we shouldn't give the great songs of Caravina away carelessly. Oh, don't say that. I mean, I've done so much research on them. I'm sure that a little examination on my part will be of help later. For example, we could find out why the great songs of Caravina have come to be hidden in these ruins, and... This is not the time for stories, Nashura. Yeah, he really wants that for some particular reason. Hmm. 
Hmm. And if you get too far away, it'll you'll get a warning, and then what a wing, what a boom, you're just back. Also, I thought there was more to explore. Like, wasn't this whole area a thing? Did I already do it? The answer may surprise me. Yeah. Mostly. I remember, I remember. And then I went up the elevator. And I was like, but what if bad? Question mark? And I was going to follow this path, but I was like, wait a minute. And I had stumbled across that, and I was like, cool. But I was also like, but the path that we're walking is that way. So what's this way? Nothing much but another way back. Well, at least I got the door. If I got it then, perhaps? Question mark? Continue onward. Do I need to fight this guy? So yeah, I'm able to sneak right by. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, I know of this area. No, well, then let me help you open this door. The final great song of Caravina can be found in this underground Darien factory. We are mostly one step. We're merely one step away, but knowing that we are so close to collecting great song, all the great songs, and I feel rather excited. Are you afraid now that we're here? It's just that you might have read all those notes, Noji, but Paimon thinks you're just a little too good at working these rune machines. But of course, while you were away, I was making preparations the entire time. Hmm. 
I'm like, would it really have been that bad to have this thing just slide into the ground? Here are the ruins. Didn't even notice it. <laughs> Poor things. So tired. <gasps> How the hell? How the actual hell? There's no end to this. Hey! You're more <laughs> Oh, yes. They needed a literal shovels for their buckets of money. We'll see about that. Continue onwards into the ruins. Mother Trucker, stop putting me facing the wrong direction. Very aggressive. Ooh, ah. Care for Terribly sorry, Missy. I'm here for a fight. Not now. Don't be scared. Here's the door. Share my knowledge. I see everything. Pretty character. A historical artifact. <laughs> Never mind. I made a slight error. There's a first tree here too. Don't stay right too far away from your companion, Sherith. Dark, 
Is there... Oopsie, there's only one way left to go then. The Temple of Wisdom! Let's wait for the deal! Have fun with this gift! Cole, mine to command, not now. I see everything! Just that! Powerful yam spot. Yeah, now you can relax. Here you go. Thank you, Madame Farazan. Still 50 50 about that one, but that's a problem for later. Getting a couple of dendro rush eye. All these ropes and cables are getting in my way of the line of sight. <laughs> All right. Let's continue on our academia investigation team log of three. <laughs> 
Bruce and the Birds, can we go back to the reasons he's willing to do investigation to Bruce? Whether we know he's in the room, some team members mentioned that they had disturbed some kind of sound, that they had been disturbed by some kind of sound coming kind of from underground. Things they saw team leader besides Kenny Honor, King Sore, King's Kling, Kling Sore. So we can take back to the other rooms, no longer in Impedes the continued progress of her investigation in the way we know. I wonder if that's the actual name then of our guy here. Interpreting the word was behind the previous decision. Words and his names to the men lost. Seems to be concerned that those men with races that suddenly appear in the desert and great numbers of creatures they mistakenly call Maju. Mistakenly, bruh. That's their name for him. Freaking idiots. Or, Innocent survivors of that ancient country transformed somehow. Interesting. So they learned a little bit about the old Connery debacle. Well, I never claimed to be the most clever. So there should be three. Mm. How did I not trigger that? Ah, there we go. Inside at last. I like. Looks like the main hall. What should we do next? <laughs> I think just like if she was trying to explore, this should also be the energy control hub for the entire ruin. If the documents I've read are accurate, this place was used as a manufacturing center. It was owned by the Dari Warrior Band, known as the Shrincher. Just as the proving ground from earlier was. Can you hear records? <laughs> They released monsters that stirred forth from beneath the earth during the cataclysm that occurred 500 years ago. Not important right now with the case. See the great song we must claim here at the very, is at the very bottom of this facility. We need to use the elevator to reach the location, which means the activating set level is now our present problem. But just as with the previous room, the relay farm with the elevators and your crystals, yada yada, seems we'll need three of those. And it says the room should contain quite a few of them, so you might have to look around. The adjoining rooms. Hmm. Hey, Lord, are you afraid over much? All places are accessible to those who use Caravina, and it, it, it and is not one of the fairways you need to find there. Exactly, as long as you use the fairway to break the seals over the relays, we can use. <laughs> Let's give it a go. It really opened. In that case, let's see the same with the door on the other side. Let's go over there and have a look. Mode save the factory smelting center lies that way, but seeing the state of relies, we'll need another for to activate the door there. And if we want to activate the elevator, we'll need to unseal all the key. Doing that, there could be trouble you a great way to find it. Oh, you almost sound like you presume to command me. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, of course, I would never dare do such a thing, O oh, great envoy. This is a great task that only you may accomplish. You and your young spot truly work wonders that a mere mortal such as I cannot aid in accomplishing, and as such, mine is only to wait for your return. Still, do take these investigation notes along with you, so that you shall not lose your way. It contains the location of all the fair wicks you must find. <laughs> hmm. Intriguing. Ravina is actually more similar to something. It is simulates whatever kind of materials and energy comes in contact with this carry is opposed to the energy. It does not simply have a form of self recognition. It's fine to do this. I'm probably so gosh. I'm so sure it's really calm with you. I'm just like, sir, just kind of small, maybe a time for afternoon tea. Is it not? 
From the again, based on the Connery and Riggins place produced as white but low aqua energy fluids have been convenient. At least appears to be relatively safe and stable. So he can feel the image of might with the window long enough to return to Fontaine. Should use his power peers, but it's understandable given that he would home this far apart have <laughs> been flooded. It's been something power can be classified as right or wrong. Those are two big matters. I hadn't eaten. These meals only dried bread without jam. Bring consciousness, Jacob forgot some shame. It seems suspicious, but the food journal should still be effective for now. Jimmy Dino was gained during the process. Based on the fact that the kind of is in this ad, we can obtain another formula. Supplement the nutrient intake, even though there's no need. I already told him that we keep the bruise mentioned there for words and nuts. We boiled them down to which you used up our remaining sugar. And that's fine. If things on the plane, we can return things on the plane to the second floor. Yada yada. Thank you for the name of things you said. I caused you wrong data. Helen, though, I don't want to admit it, but no matter how many times the calculation run, the results are the same. I cross checked with Jacob on the destruction. How did I miss a variable? Let's check the calculations again now. The results are clear as the coin at the bottom of the fountain of Lucene. Oh, Jacob saw similar scenes. There should be a way. No, there must be a way. Actually, I'm sorry. We should be able to the process. We begin our journey back to the city. Let's mess up first. The trip paid enormous dividends, and much of what I learned will be applicable. A larger catastrophe must be avoided. The plan should be fine. Nothing more than a question of what Jacob and I can do. Jacob is scared because he is still a child, but he already has strength greater than most adults with us. And Alan, we can surely stop the disaster. He must speak with Alan upon our return. Hmm. You could say for the notes, because I mean, not be able to live. We <sighs> don't feel lonely. Without the notes, the guy may not be able to leave this place, and you would not leave a poor man such as I in the dust, would you? <laughs> I don't like him, so I totally would. It's, it's all, it's in the, it's in the cards, is what I'm saying. I, I mean, if someone was looking, I suppose I wouldn't leave him behind. But I mean, like, if. I guess Conria said, we don't need the gods, and the gods took that personally. Ah! <laughs> we'll 
see about that. Oh, glad I saw this. I almost didn't even notice it. <laughs> is truly the most terrifying thing in all of So freaking tiny. Yeah. Little fairy. It's a fifth. I wonder who this gift could be. Oh my, you're finally back. I was beside myself with worry. If some frozen beast were to suddenly revive themselves, it would have been done for, no doubt. Fortunately, nothing of the sort happened. Well then, that's two fair wicks we have retained. In that case, let's open the door to the right. Just as before, following that, if you allow me, I shall follow you onward.
Triangle hat E. Triangle hat E. Triangle sort of square. with me. It's a huge furnace. It's zero. How's it still in operation? This giant furnace is used to make a substance known as azite. It's the core of this entire factory. And the energy blocks we saw earlier were derived from this place. But it shouldn't. But shouldn't a place like this have been abandoned ages ago? No one should have been able to get in here. Well, there might be some paths in here that we're not sure of. These people who worship the Dark Abyss, and perhaps even the Fatui you spoke of, may have entered. Surely, now that I consider it, the great songs might have been uh, stolen by now, or not for the fact that only Lady Shurith may touch them. <sighs> Worthless worries. The great songs of Caravan are my designed inheritance. That any others might taint them with their touch? Inconceivable. Indeed, indeed, it is so, but we may find more fairy work to activate the relays and sealed and sealed and crystal. If you are to claim your destiny, then we can activate the elevator and go where the great song awaits us. Come then, let's go. Hmm. I'm being shot at. On the bright side, I'm at least somewhat protected. Don't be scared. Truth repeats its course. Here's the good. Share my knowledge. The night is cold. Too late for regret. Everyone hold hands.
Let's continue onward. Grab the last air wick. Yeah. Found it. Okay, we should return to where we began to fall path them. Path on the left. Another trucker. See that giant machine there? That is the central control device of this entire facility. As long as we can get the energy to, from the relays that center uh, and then activate this device, we shall be able to activate the elevator. Whatever the case, let's hurry and unseal the relays and use them to maximize your form to conduct this circuit. Hmm. What is this? What is it? This is not time to retreat. Yeah, you know what? You know this place too well. Uh, it's like you've been here before or something. Don't you find it weird too, Sharif? Well, that is true. But he is a human, Vanus. Surely this is not beyond him. <laughs> Do not look down on us scholarly types. With the aid of these documents that I read in the mountains, uh, even now I can master these devices. I have not only read all the books within the House of Dana, but I have spent much time collecting here too for hidden. As a good on of me, I have always paid special attention to her good... Concerning the great sign security in the underground ruins. Tell me, is there a raving record from truth? Uh, is surviving recorded truth from documents not the essential work of those whose preoccupation is such writings? And if you should suspect me, well, let us save that until we have obtained the great song of Caravana. Would you not abandon me here at this injustice? Would you please let us place on song of this elevator? Strange devices seem to be able to channel energy into large machines. <laughs> anyway. 
dude's just continues to exist. Oh, glad I saw this. With like, I almost didn't even notice it. Dude continues to just exist and go about his day, being like as suspicious as possible. Walks down the street, suspicious. Looks your way, suspicious. Says hello, suspicious. Good, good. Now we need only activate the central control device at the ground from above. The elevator should restore to normal function. We finally, we're finally hit the preparations at mid on invading the yes, leave celebration so late. Who knows yes, what dangers yet lie ahead? Honestly, that's the most honest thing he said. What dangers lie ahead? Then triangle ramp square. Go oh, downward triangle ramp square. I have no idea how I walked absolutely backwards into that. <laughs> He leaves his self in this, our hands. Can we get rid of him quite yet? Oh, Mother Trucker. Be 
about that. Hey! Warren! Stars, shine for me. Truth repeats its course. I see everything. Too late for regret. The night is cold. Mother Dragon, no! You bastard! <laughs> it's right there. That's all I want in life. God damn, we are getting far away from that thing. <sighs> you appeared. I look there, I look there. I guess I could have just scrolled right over it. <laughs> oh boy. The impression Farzan might be going down. I say might because she's not done yet. Ain't gonna count her out just yet. Take a moment. Breathe. Heal up your characters. Gears ah, of the storm. Why? The night is cold. I see everything. What hell am I in? Yeah, yeah. Oh, almost. I'm a freak. Not now. <laughs> Give me a moment. Uh, um, hmm. 
me wander off in this direction. There we go. Anywho, I hate these things for that one reason in particular. The game's not properly balanced. Or just functional enough for these things. But if you keep a cool head, you can survive the BS of the game that this game will throw your way. There we go. What the hell? You tried to steal the floor out from under me again. It's all the way up there. Oof. <laughs> nice, all oh, that. That's all five great caravina in our hands. Now we just need to take them over to Zervia in the Sea of Flowers and perform the ritual of whatever we're calling it. Please wait, as I see it. The Great songs should go to me first. As I mentioned before, I must still examine these great songs more carefully before the rite of Siva can begin. <laughs> and I did not. And did I not put in much effort into finding them as well? If it were not, if I were not present, then you might be stumbling blind to this facility. Well, that's what it looked like, yeah. Yes, yes. Reasonable, is it not? Come then, give me the great songs quickly now. That way I can draw on a procedure for the first ritual. Yes, that's right. That's my work too, after all. Mm, you know, the more you talk, the more suspicious Paimon's getting it. Paimon's getting I do believe it'll be unnecessary. It is as my young spawn says. You need simply await the completion of my heroic deed, Narissa. Silence, you... Piss me off. Narsu, are you there? <laughs> well, I've said it now, haven't I? I've blown my cover. But, ah, uh, it's such a liberating feeling that well, I'll grab to grovel and nod before this idiot of a parry. Well, where should we begin? Even though I'm not very sure. I'd love to tell you all about my plans. Dead people nail no tales, after all. But I'd wager you'd not like to hear of such convoluted matters much. Why don't you just hand the great songs over? That'll save me time. Yep, nope, not happening. We spent so much effort getting them, and if we don't hand them, have them the commission's a non-starter. Our, our commission's a non-starter. Zervina has also said we'd be idiots to give them to you. Gosh, side shows all of that compared to my plans. I've been playing house with you imbeciles this entire time just to get the great songs. They call me Vinopidi at the order. But they've never understood my labors, so I acted in secret. I had to. In order to get into contact with Caravina Constructs, I came up with the idea of using the Rite of Shinvat to extinguish the sign and lure in Shirth. And that was already a pain in the neck. You've seen it, how most Perry are just obstinate cretin. But she was truly useless. Her constant failure to obtain the capulet had me on the verge of giving up. But it was thanks to you two, ultimately, that the caplet was gained, and that we made it all the way here. Now, it won't please you, but I am very grateful. Well, that's a bit too harsh on Sheriff. <laughs> Is that even important? The songs of the skeptics do record some human do record that some humans did become companions of the Puri, but it was not for the great songs. I would never have associated with them at all. All that is left now is to use the great songs of Kiri to reverse the right of Shavat, and then we'll release the seal on the abyss, and the wars of old will begin anew. Oh, the expectation does not kill you inside. Shame, then, you shan't see that glorious sight. But wait, isn't your order supposed to help suppress the abyss? Why do you want to unseal it instead? You've turned your back on your duties. Ah, but have you not considered other possibilities? Just as you have seen, the skeptic documents are piles of raving mad myths, while Dari records are fractual, precise. 
As I see it, the history and the duty of the Order of Skeptics are all but tall tales invented from nothing. My discovering the ruins only proved my judgment this deep. I found a great many interesting things there, just so you know. Well, I've managed into this place at times, in secret, alongside the lector who gave me the notes, but this is the first time things went so well. According to my research, those who represent, who resist, those who resisted the impurities here were heroes of the Dahiri, but they are the skeptics' true ancestors. They were forgotten, their tale untold. They were smeared as sinners, as the cause behind the disaster. Their deeds were wiped from the records by thrice-be-damned academia and the mistakenly appropriated as founding myth by the skeptics. I suspect that this is why the academia never intended to accept us. Sounds like speculation to me. No, this is the truth of which I discovered with my own hands. I did say so earlier, did I not? I found some intriguing records in the ruins. For example, Dahiri records of that sign in the sky. They called this the sign of truth, believing that it respects the reality beyond our skies. That is my plan, to bring truth without mercy to this unjust world. Now then, my great work represents the great songs of Carvina, so hand them over. If you come quietly, perhaps I might spare you. <laughs> And what'll he do, snatch it? It's going to be pretty tough for you, you know. Oh, that's too bad. I've come prepared. My apologies for the wait, O oh priest of the Dark Hollow. Dude has a crossbow. This power is more useful to me than it is you. I have an oddly fitting team. We'll see about that. Not now. Don't be scared. Everyone hold hands. Too late for regret. No, how could this be? Looks like Mr. Cheat. Come up with another plan. Maybe, but not today. Hmm, there is no shoe had gone off to. He was hiding over there a moment ago. Ugh, how could we let him slip off like that? I think he came up with the abyss order to take our great career. And what was that crazy nonsense he was going on about? This is still rather... It was a long time coming, but it's still rather concerning. That's true, I can't really trust what Nezua says, but Zervina might still know something about the Conrians who fought against the monsters here. In that case, let's bring the great Carvian back to get some answers from Zerfera. As for the Order, didn't Najusa say that he was keeping them in the dark, too? Oh, you shouldn't rule out the possibility that some of them might have been so to Najusa's side, but Paimon thinks Pyra and some others didn't know what was going on. If we got the time, let's tell them the truth. Shruthith has just been betrayed. Whatever the case, let's head back to the Sea Flowers. we got to make sure that nothing bad happens after all. Barely legible bulletin. All season bleak. This one it's important. It's quite important the information. The contents become nearly impossible to distinguish with the passing of time. In view of King Aram's present indisposed state and the current and the threats facing the kingdom, Knight Marshal Affronts proclaim that he will temporarily take up her ultimately uh, until the kingdom returns to save Northern Ulysses. This is well wait.
There we go. Someone's been in line of mingling. This is the unfinished since so unknown who left a year. Marvel person can I wear it? The ones who came in and achieved the prosperity they have today. Precisely these things for the spying on secrets from the people. Bomb the skies. What? And thus have our machine from spying on secrets from beyond the skies and thus have our machines been able to throw off the shackles imposed by this world's laws but that technology cannot be said to be perfect the gods are untrustworthy and the demons inevitable if there is one thing that can pry open the corners of this hollow world that it can only be human will to this end you can petition the king to allow some machinery manufactured according to the old standards to be reserved under your ministry's purview perhaps it might a spark under the latent wills and countless figures, generations of this sense of exploring technology. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so if you've been following along, bit of a spoiler, in the Natland quest, the sky got cracked open for a bit. And now well, we saw beyond saw what that whole the sky is fake yeah, yeah. so this whole time okay saying that this whole time the sky is fake that just feels like saying ah yes it's another Tuesday afternoon yes that's been that's what's been going on yes and but what catches me so much on that catches me on surprise is that like people are like ah oh, yes the fall of Conra is like their fault we'll and it's like that. the more you learn about it the more you're like okay 99% of the people who <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> and like the more you learn about Conria, the more you're like okay 99% of the people of Conria were, were victims of the god's wrath but it's just like, what were the gods so angry about? Which just let me say, oh my god, the idea that... Until further notice, I'm deleting this. Just the idea that Conria was able to look past the... Or, it says beyond the type, I know, I hope you enter here. Is there any easy way to get across? Not what it looks like. Records of known things to associate with this researcher. I found the source of the gospel that has been buzzing about yesterday. I can see the one arm sage in the sunlight. It's beyond the sky. And yet we were rejected by the laws of this world and tormented by an unjust curse. What did. Okay, so my theory of why the gods, like, a destroyed Conria was basically they got too big for their britches we waged war against the forces from beyond the sky and you know, rejected by the laws of the world so the gods condemned them tortured by an unjust curse this mistake was used by these people not accepted by my by any existence our only option is to choose our own path The Connerians just kind scientists and or higher ups just got a bit too Well there's the whole talk of forbidden knowledge. Some things just aren't meant to be known. And clearly they they thought otherwise. And it ended up Cursing them and their people. That is crazy, crazy, crazy.
Okay. There's a little chest over there. I see a little... Because in perspective of everything, it is pretty tiny. See what I can check in on. Well, that's what I was searching for. I thought I was searching for the little ones. Also, the mercy of the divine. <laughs> you can walk the rest. I was gonna say, what's rumbling? And then I remembered the thing in the sky. Sure, it's been pretty quiet since we left the ruined factory. She used to keep talking on and on, so Paimon's not used to her being silent now. <sighs> she must have been frightened quite badly considering what happened. Cheer up, sure, we still got many things to do. Oh. For it's day, we need to perform um, that right with the name Paimon can't remember, then fix the giant hole. After we're done, let's treat ourselves to something delicious for our hard work. We can have, um, Paimon does know it for, 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 for food. Mary, you don't need to eat, silly floater. Ah, <sighs> to think I've fallen so low to require the pale floater's comfort. What a shame. I'd rather just be sealed in the gray crystals right away, or find myself a chasm to slumber undisturbed for eternity till everyone I know cease to exist. Sure is, sure is a mood. <laughs> Paimon said, Paimon said Paimon's not a hell floater. But is there really such a cavern? Mm -hmm. Avoidance can't really solve the problem. Mm -hmm. At this point, I'm past caring. How am I supposed to live with the sheer embarrassment of being fooled by Nishunda? Anyway, now that you've collected all the great songs of Kirvina, you can go to Mira Rusha if you want to solve the anomaly in the sky. Whatever the case, please leave me alone and pretend you never heard the things I said. 
Uh, you did say a lot of weird spot. My young spot. My valiant form, faded sacrifice. Oh, stop. Please stop. Sorry, stop teasing her now. She's been traveling with us for so long, after all, and Pan doesn't want to see her quit halfway. What's more, sure does have some good qualities. Like, um... I saw you hesitating. Oh, stop patronizing me. You're quick to act. You got a sense of responsibility. Yep, yep, and you haven't been working hard to... And haven't we been working hard to extinguish the sign of Espoka? It's all thanks to you that we've made it so far. How did it go again? Let Pam think. Ah, as long as you keep going, I believe it'll only be a matter of time before you truly become... Before you become a truly great adventurer. Really? Really? Do you genuinely mean to praise me? Yes, as genuine as a friend could be. <laughs> I knew I was great. <laughs> motivation is back. Now that the motivation of sure is back, let's go find Zervina, fix the giant hole, and get re get the reward. I can't wait for her big meal. The quest pale fire. What is the quest pale fire? Also, before I do that. Scorching hot days and freezing cold nights. I, I, I don't think I'm gonna make it. It has been achieved. Reach the end of the surface world. Activate a large elevator and a grand run. You know, you now with the power of the great songs of Caravina. Upgrade the iron food to its maximum level. One more teleport waypoint, and then complete caravana of good and evil. That's this quest that I'm doing now. Actually, there's one more thing. Fire quest. Pale fire. Shelter children and fairy who are unable to return to their Will you bring them back home? Checks out. All right, let's go complete pale fire fire real quick. Zervan, the parry once scattered across the land seem to have all returned. Great work indeed, as expected of the unspot whom Sirith has chosen. I'll take that as a compliment, Elder Zervan. <laughs> the versus uh, Oasis already seems a lot more lively. Once you fix the giant hole, giant hole, everyone here should recover in no time. By the way, now that Paimon thinks about it, if Perry are born from the water, shouldn't you call it Hydri or something? Hey, don't try to give us one of your stupid nicknames, Pale Floater. <laughs> Does remind me of something from the distant path. <laughs> something about Hydra? A long, long time ago, a slew of oceanids from foreign lands once traveled here in spite of many obstacles. To arrive here, not only did they have to withstand the scorching desert, 
but they also had to face rampant monsters. With those water creatures, that journey must have been extremely tormenting. They seemed to have come from for their deceased god, only to find what they were looking for wasn't here. After searching Harvest Spoken, they soon dispersed and left. Since then, the legend of the ocean had spread, and many outlanders traveled along the road they once ventured, looking to uncover their secrets. Although it started out as a rumor, as time passed by, the route itself has been endowed with the meaning of sacrificing oneself in pursuit of pure innocence. Even after the Vesuka oasis was sealed off from the outside world, their pilgrimage still lasted for quite a long time. Perhaps for them, the journey is more important than the destination. One might also argue the process of striving towards a goal yields more significance than merely sacrificing yourself once and for all. Hey, why does it always come back to me? <laughs> and that was... That quest was basically finished. As for the rumbling that I kept hearing, that's that. The sky's fake. Anything can happen. Savina, we're back again. Ah, it's a soaring Sheth and Paimon. By the looks of it, you must have obtained all great songs of curing. Despite some accidents. <laughs> Whatever the case, the result is desirable. It is right to entrust the mission to you. Without you, the great songs of Hiravina might have been robbed away by those with ill intent. Huh, why does Paimon suddenly feel like Zervina saw what was coming? <laughs> so I was on to something. You didn't run into followers of the Dark Hollow, did you? How did you know? Hmm. Well, instead of dwelling on how I knew, why don't you tell me exactly what happened? You count your adventure in the underground rooms and I shouldn't betrayal. <laughs> Even the orders of Nava did side with the Dark Hollow. That was unexpected. Not that I had any hopes in them to begin with. But that's just a step too far. And if I'm not mistaken, Nishuna had been excited and enticed into pursuing the great songs of Kavrina by a servant of the Dark Hollow you fought. That one's an old acquaintance of mine. Hmm? You know the guy from the Abyss Order? <laughs> he used to be the, the Order of the Skeptics several hundred years ago. An investigation team from the forest came to explore the secrets of Daharns. They insisted on entering the Daharn ruins despite the Order's warning. So the then Venapt sent the man to go with the team in case something happened. No one knew what they encountered in the ruins. But by the time he reappeared... He had already embraced the defilement's blessings, and the investigation team was nowhere to be found. Then came the followers of the Dark Hollow. They were after the great songs of Kirvena, and for that purpose they summoned countless demons of death to attack the Virukasha Oasis. Although we managed to protect our home with the help of many free and human warriors, we didn't eradicate the Dark Hollow's followers to ensure that I left no gaps for them to exploit. I sealed the Verusha Oasis and the many ruins with the power of the great songs. The Order of the Skeptics never recovered from this incident. They lost their ancient archives to fire and gradually became like this. I sense that the followers of the Dark Hollow were making their play since he last mentioned them, but I didn't expect them to have corrupted even the leader of the Skeptics. Anyway, Paimon's still wondering about what the news said. Did you know anything about the skeptic's ancestors? You fought alongside them, after all. <laughs> History becomes legend. Legend becomes tale. That's how traditions live on. Forgetting is also part of the story. The more you cling to the idea of tradition, the more you only selectively remember the story you desire and eventually become lost in a maze of tales. 
In a world where things are being forgotten every hour of every day, what we engrave on the ground is far more reliable than what we sing to the wind. That's why I trust you. Your forthright never seem to concern yourselves with other people's judgment. <laughs> Although you're praising us, the way you put it sounds somewhat odd. I somehow feel a sense of sarcasm. I presume the Elder Zervas words are intended for me. As for what happened 500 years ago, I think you'd want to see for yourself rather than hear my version of the story. And now you have exactly the perfect opportunity. By the way, Shurith, it appears you've grown more reliable now. With what you've been through, have you awakened from those raving mad myths of humans? Elder, please let bygones be bygones. It seems I have made the right decision to entrust the issue of Zorwing and Paimon. In that case, I guess I can leave the, leave the right of Abzur in your capable hands without any reservation. The right of Abzur. Paimon remembers hearing Zervina mention it. It's for cleansing, um, defilement of sorts? The rite of Absor is a ritual performed to cleanse the harbors spoken of defilement. Normally, we only need to conduct it under the trees that suppress darkness. However, with the seal weakening and the abnormally reorging in the sky, we need more than the usual to solve the problem. The abnormality appeared above the harbors spoken as a result of the tree absorbing a great amount of defilement. With that excessive amount of filth building up from within him, and the corrosion caused by the anomaly, the Harspoken can no longer sustain Guria's power. The only thing we can do now is enter the Harspoken to cleanse it and wake our god. So, we can actually enter the Harspoken? Of course. Did you think that the Rite of Shavant was to be performed inside the Dark Hollow? Even, per even Perry wouldn't be able to stand the defilement within. Inside the Harspoken lies a giant lotus, Garten, Ger, Gar Curtin, and our god's consciousness slumbers within it. By cleansing the defilement, the flower of sanctity will bloom once again. The Emirati will rid the land of, its, of all its impurities. Convoluted as these processes may sound, I believe they shall constitute no hindrance to you. Now then, I have already sent Rostrian and Romero to the Trun's Hollow. You need only bring over the great songs, and then you'll be able to gather the power of Caverna. Caverna will awaken the tr huge trees that are suppressing the darkness and purify the containment mud in the depths. After that, you can then perform the Rite of Simvant and thus open the path to Harsvulkan. And once you are inside, the chaplet will reveal to Shrith the great deeds of ancient heroes. Since all memories related to Kaffir will return to her spoken in the end, these memories will never fade, no, how, no matter how legends are retold and changed. I've never heard of this. <laughs> the Chaffalet was originally part of her spoken. You will know when you get there. Now please go and extinguish the sign of a spoken. We will, again, we will meet again when the army falls from the sky. Well, that was a paragraph and a half. Oh, we're going way over here. I was like, just around the corner. <sighs> Lyra, excuse me. Lyra, Leia. Alright. Let's fix the sky. You know, seeing this just gives me the thought of, like, whatever the Conrians did, or some of the Conrians, that the false sky might be there to protect everyone. What 
took Sir so long. We've been waiting here for a very long time. I'm so tired. I want to go back to sleep. <sighs> Hey, that's not fair. I'm the one who's been laboring hard all along and you didn't do anything. That's not true. Waiting is also an important job. In fact, acting is only momentarily new. While waiting is eternal. That's a this weird logic. This is just the philosophy of Vest Perry. But now this is not the time to discuss the philosophy, so what matters is the great songs of Caverna. I trust you've collected all of them, no? Of course we have. In that case, let us remove the seal. Then you can gather the power of Caverna with the great songs. But be careful, since the field has been building up for centuries. I have no idea what will emerge once I remove the seal. I absolutely love the design of these three. And also the elder. The first... The first one. The first... Mir <laughs> They're so adorable. I was sure that <laughs> on myself, all prairie have a duty that they must undertake. But you're different. You've come to help us out of the goodness of your hearts. For that, you have my thanks. I'm so tired. I want to go back to sleep. Trist. Oh. Now that we've placed the great Kaiman properly, everything around here seems to have recovered. The trees were originally... The trees were originally cultivated with Kavan to resist the corrosion of the Cataclysm. It's just their power has ebbed away with the passions of time. With the great Shlong's nourishment, they will be able to regain their former glory. But with this seal removed now, the filth from the path has been freed too. The right won't be able to continue, for in and I spend all our energy here, so please take care of these locations for us. <laughs> Leave it to me. The Bloom Guard's job is to fight defilement. I assure myself over it. So it's petrified, all right, but it's petrified trees. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting, interesting, a thousand times over. What exactly do I need to do? Hey! Not now! Huh. Everyone hold hands!
If you're supposed to get rid of these another way. We'll see about that. The night is cold. Hey. Yeah. <sighs> Genuinely, if you're supposed to get rid of these in another way, I have no idea what that other way is. Beyond just wailing <laughs> on them. That one was so much simpler. Monsters came to the same thing. Unmade and simple person. Simpler or single? Yeah, I'm just gonna assume that this is what I'm supposed to do. Mostly, I mean, I can look around again. But yeah, it's like I look around and I see nothing that Shirith can interact with.
Yeah, she's like, ah, yes, let me fix it for you. And I'm thinking to myself, cool. How? I misclicked by a large margin. That is all five. <gasps> it's already looking more lively. Done. It seems that some flowers have grown on trees, but what do you do next? Ah, don't look at me. I'm as clueless as you. Now the truth has already put on the twin horn capulet. She can connect to the memories and wisdom from her spoken using the chaplet. Give it a try, Sheriff. I know, but I'm not yet ready to use the chaplet. Um... I think I see new shoots sprouting, but the filth hasn't been thoroughly cleansed yet. We still need to purify these flowers. Then the pure power of good will thrive again. I'm purifying these flowers. <laughs> Truth is actively procrastinating now. Which I gotta say, not something I would have thought. The second huge tree. Now, if you call this a sapling, then I would say, okay. Mm -hmm, there's so many monsters here. Why not? Hey! The night is cold. Stars shine for me. Too late for regret. Everyone hold hands. My guiding stars dare to mess with me. Huh. I see everything. That's uh, not what I meant, so... Uh, there's just one last flower left. Uh, there's only some terrible filth this time around. Go to the third huge sapling. Hope sure. I'm. I'm sure sure it would be okay. I don't think she is right now, but I'm certain she will be. Right, so make sure to protect you. I purify these flowers. 
truth repeats its course. My guiding stars. I see everything. Shazam! <laughs> we'll see about that. Gotten quiet finally. Now perform the rite of Kunio before the filth starts to ooze out again. And our job will be done. And that means I can sleep in peace without anyone disturbing me. Also, I low key ship these two. They're absolutely precious. I love them both. Mm, come on, Sheriff. Sheriff, hurry up. It has to be the three of us. Okay, so that's why she wanted to purify them. Hmm. That's a fire in the laser. <laughs> wow. They fired the nature laser. Done. The path to the depths is open, and our mission is complete. Ah, huh, that was quick. You kept talking about writing stuff, so I'm about to take a whole bunch of complicated incantations to conduct. Oh, only humans need such things. They can't even wield the power of the elements on their own. We, Perry, are different. For our power and the path of Kanria hail from the same source. It's like how you humans don't need your incantations to walk. Um... No, you don't walk, you float. <laughs> Paimon said, your logic is weird. Anyway, let's not waste your time on this irrelevant topic. I'll leave what's next up to you. Hey, the internal current will guide us on an upward path. <laughs> A rope over the abyss. This isn't the first time we've jumped into some mysterious cavern underground. I will say, this is probably one of the more pretty ones. Oh gosh. Are we at the top of the large tree stump? Went through all that effort of passing to the cavern only, get to get, only to get blocked again. I have attained the Twin Hawk Chaplet, so why is the Heart Spoken rejecting me? This shouldn't be happening. <laughs> um, is there something wrong, Shrith? You don't look so good. <laughs> this is the Twin Horn Chaplet. Something is coming in. Hey, Shrith! The roots of the ancient tree spread and intertwine, each connection giving off a faint light. As the light and shadow intertwine, one image after another flashes by. Amidst the desolate mountains, heroes wield various weapons, the parry lined up behind them, and through the dark clouds hem them in, they do not move a single step back. And though the dark clouds, in the darkest depths, titanic machinery glimmers softly, covering the, f covering the flight of people from the rolling black flames. Upon the boundless wilderness, a masked sword wielder and a one-armed sage stand back to back. Under the ages of Kavina, they resist a swarm of monsters rushing in from the tide, like the tide. The Caravina guide the path of all, and it is their destination as well. 
The countless lights converge into tiny motes, the white glow ascending from the tree's base. Eventually, the once dark sky lights up. Trust the process. Come on, Jareth, wake up. Uh, uh, you're finally awake. You really scared Paimon, fainting like you did up there. I, I'm fine. But the tree opened up after that, and we followed the path in. This is like the giant lotus garuk and, and that Zurin that Zurin was talking about, right? What happened to you earlier? Did something go wrong with the Chapulet? I saw memories that the Earth returned to the Harspoken. Countless furry, Durin machines and human warriors sacrificed themselves in battle against the demons. A masked swordsman, a one-armed sage, and our ancient forerunners defeated the monsters that rose from the depths. Their consciousness then joined the Harspoken together with the Caravina, turning into rain that descended from the heavens. The Durin machines. Wait, did they really go to Nesher's? Did things really go the way Nesher's said they did? I go have to ask Zervana. Yeah, but what should we do now? The Paimon remembers Zervana saying that we need to clean out the impurities or something like that. We must enter the defiled chambers within our god's consciousness to restore the sim Pina hearts trapped inside the impurities. Only then will the consciousness reawaken. In the memories I saw, that place was a boundless void. If that's the if that's the case, how are we supposed to get in? Come with me. We need only follow the path left by the heroes of old, and we will reach our destination. Alrighty, Roo. So, well. There's a teleport marker here. Paths were once built by the parry for brave souls who fought alongside the Shrift can use their power to deploy, deploy floating orbs that have been closed to pave the way for her companions. I have no idea what I just did. <laughs> Go deeper into the defiled chamber. Hmm. <laughs> floating stones in the defiled chamber can only be seen by a prairie like Shrith. Hold her in her. Act skill to cause her to stop. She can cause the floating stones to appear. Hmm? Yes, yeah, so it would be nice if the game didn't just randomly interrupt me and things like that.
Shooting stars. Yes, we can maintain by clearing up the environment. We've awakened one of them, but there should be another on. I just realized.
on and onward we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I accidentally sent the other one over there. Sometimes I'll do things by accident and have no idea what exactly it is that I've done. Oh, oh, oh. Continue onwards. <sighs> Let's continue onwards. It's releasing these guys, but it's avoiding unpetrifying this. Keep a faith.
with me. The night is cold. Everyone hold hands. Yeah. More. Yeah. Make yourselves at home. Magic lamp. Truth repeats its course. Stars shine for me. Not now. I see everything. What? Too late for regrets. Okay. Now I have the splinter hearts here to on to the next defiled shape. So it's gonna trifling matter for me. This time teach these evils finally got a listen from the fairy. Higher and higher and higher we go. Strange, this place differs from the previous defile chambers. It cannot descend at all. Put the inverse. These things 
similar to the great chasm outside. Things change across the lake. Let's go check it out. Ooh. Hey. What is this place indeed? Where? Where did we go? Okay, now I'm gonna swipe and investigate. Oh, we're on the island. Maybe? It seems probably very crystals in the sky. Seems like that thing from before. So we're walking. Seems so. We're walking in the sky. You can sense presence in hearts and make these crystal mages. All we need to do is find them. Truth calls it a well, like is a maze, I guess, because that leads, because that leads to a dead end. You'd have to go around this way. All right, let's start working our way through the maze. Because domain logic, you can't climb anything. At least it's pretty here. I like how it bounces along with me. Bounce, 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 bounce. Feels sweet. We just got here. Can't be lost already, can we? Give a show. Okay, so from here, I mean, I was choosing to go an insider out, and I think that's the right path. Okay, so our destination is there. Oh, we make a U-turn. I didn't even realize there was a backwards. Splendor Hearts. Let's find the exit. How do we get out of this labyrinth? Hmm? Okay, so that's where we are. We just take the long way around. Because that is a dead end. Um, oh, for Christ's sake. Long way around. Surely this is it. No need to send this room. And yes, Shrith is really reliable. But also my memory is impeccable. <laughs> when it wants to be. <laughs> if something decides to stick to my mind, it is never leaving. on top of this guy.
The Splinter Hearts are... have all been brought back to the Lotus. According to what you said earlier, Shrith, we should be able to awaken the Divine Consciousness now. In that case, let us... let the real sight right of Ab Absor begin. Next, I shall borrow the power of Kavura to make the flower of sanctity bloom once again within Kahorm Kainorna. This will mean leashing the filth gathered within the sacred lotus, which will transform it into monsters that bar a path. It matters not, for so long the god's consciousness is awakened, the power of the army will defend us. And if the flower of sanctity grows, it will spread our Marta all over the land and cleanse all of its impurities. This, then, is the final battle worthy of a bloom guard. It's all the elements. Animo, Geo, Dendro, Cryo, Electro, Pyro. We have to nip this problem in the bud. Protect the Laura! Met! Not now! Oh, mind to commit dare to mess with me! Make yourselves a move! Truth repeats its course! My guiding star! We'll see about that! Day, I'll get out of my eternal habit of refusing to use ult. I'm just like, I got it handled. I don't need ults. What if I need them for an important battle? And it's like, what if this is the important battle? I'm like, sounds fake. Dare to mess with 
I was literally expecting that to be the final one. I was like, okay, sure, I said that's the last one. Okay, that's the end of it. <sighs> and it's no longer at a stalemate. So we're complete, you then follow. Oh, you see Zarina, who's expecting your arrival. To think that you're truly able to complete the ride of Zor. Your needs are indeed equal to the ancient heroes. Most surprising. Well, you don't look surprised at all. And the sign of Esposha has been extinguished and the earth has been purified. To think this could be done even without any sacrifice. The rain was super heavy. That big hole in the sky is now gone, and the withered tree stump's grown back into the huge tree. I wouldn't quite say that this has grown back into a tree, Pi. Your god will definitely suffer less now that she's no longer being eaten away by those impurities. About what happened 500 years ago? Well, that's right. The memory sure shall show that there were people from Conry alongside the skeptics who first fought the monsters. Now, now, there's no need to be so serious, since you've seen the memories of the past. What I shall now tell you are not tales, but truth. A long, long time ago, when I had first awoken amidst the sea of flowers, the skies were filled with anomalies of dark hollow, and there were monsters roaming everywhere, and everywhere but the small land of refuge. 
I gathered the might of Kaverna, according to the divine bird's last wishes, and departed from the sea of flowers to subdue the monsters until I met that golden-haired man out in the wilderness. I wonder if that's her sibling. Half, um, doesn't seem so. Half of his body had become that of a monster, but it did not sense an aura of monstrosity in him when I discovered him. He was holding a ring tightly in his hand. I brought him back to the Sea of Flowers, and when he awoke, he claimed to be a Dahiri swordsman who had only survived because he'd been cursed. For a time, I traveled with this masked swordsman, and we resisted the div that invaded the Sea of Flowers. The masked swordsman. Masked swordsman from Conrad, do you think that could be? No, so you know him. That makes my explanation way easier. Not long after that, people in scholarly guard, led by one, led by one armed sage, came forth from the lands east of the desert. They claimed to have once sought shoulder to shoulder with heroes of Doria. The Hiri. Is that what they called the Conrians? The Hiri. They said that those heroes who had walked this path, despite ill repute, they gained, and that was to carry the will of those heroes born. And to completely destroy the disaster from the dark depths that they had followed the hero's path to this place. Later, we entered a ruin and left with the Hurians together. There, we found machines that stood against the monsters. Machines that belonged to the war party that had fought alongside those scholars. Finally, the one on stage, Hugh Stalker, and left by the Hurians to find a path through the darkness to the heart spoken. Thus, we did enter the tree in our rear to purify the defiled skies and earth. After that, the sea of flowers would constantly prepare, and the monsters slowly dispersed from the land. Later, the swordsman would leave the sea of flowers alongside a younger man with golden hair just like yours. That must be our sibling. And the sage went into the ruins underground and never returned. The humans who remained would forge bonds with the newborn Perry and call themselves the Order of Skeptics as they settled here. And now, a golden-haired hero has returned to the Sea of Flowers, and though this is not the one who came before, I can feel that something has begun to flow again. This is also why I chose to ask you for help. With you around, I need not fret about going hither and thither, searching for a valiant soul to fight alongside us, Piri. The task of teaching humans is a most tiring one indeed. <laughs> That's just because you, Perry, are, laz are each lazier than the last. Male floater did not include me in this. Well, then, since you have finished the rite of Abzor, the impurities will not be able to threaten this place for a time, and I can take that time to rest. As for sure, I leave her to you. Do guide her well in your journey. This is, after all, also the work of Yanspana. I do not intend to lecture you to be lectured by you, Pale Floater. <laughs> Don't be like that. You gotta listen to your teachers, you know. Still, Zavern, you say it like we won't meet again or something. Well, you do not intend to stay here with me, do you? You humans are all like that. You never stop to settle down. <laughs> I'm sure we will return. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I shan't believe you. This isn't my first time hearing such words. Speaking of which, I wondered how that masked surgeon is now. If you see him, do you say hello to him for me? You're both travelers, after all. I'm certain your paths will cross. Hi. All right, all right. Go off where you need to be. Don't miss me too much now. Care you know of good and evil. The day of Trigon. again.
Leo. Chili con cloudy. Curious, real quick. Nothing else prerequisite, so next time we'll figure this out. Father with more twists and turns. It'll surely scare away all goons. Oh, if it isn't Jar After all these years, you're still stuck in your own little world. Hello, your lady sheriff. And do you know this Perry? I've met her once long ago. We're not that familiar, but I've heard stories about her. Besides, Charger, Charger. Hmm. I wonder where they got the name Jar Jar. The Charger is the eccentric character is known well among the very. She always sees these things from who knows where and messes around, building a nonsensical challenge with a very variety of Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to make of this, even Jurors find their saints. Sure, so sure it's okay to be judging someone to their face. I don't know her that well, right? Maybe you shouldn't believe everything here. What if she's changed now? And she looks really enthusiastic. Maybe she's doing something to prepare. Her. <laughs> no worries. After all, Lady Sure, this is held in high regard by Lady Saverna and shoulders great responsibilities. Perhaps Lady Sure will one day be as famous as the divine word Simgar. To turn one's nose up at a random nobody such as myself is but a given. The fact that Lady Shirth has anything at all to say about me is already an honor. Whoa, that's... that's all in the past now. Let bygones be bygones. But... but... Vivari should remember the happenings of the past. <clears throat> in the past, I distanced myself from my feral prairie and took the wrong... No, the longer path, but that's enough about me. Tell me more about you. Hello, as you can see, I'm preparing for something called Light Call Resonance so I can fend off the septic goons. They approached me with the pretense of wanting to be friends and drilled me with questions, trying to get things out of me. No humans can learn. They have getting on me nerves. Why did the Order of Skeptics even do that? Either in the students, minions after all. I'm not sure it's been treated with them before. I don't know who you're talking about, but if they are, it won't matter. The Light Call Resonance will drive them all out. I've made it clear to them that anyone who fails to pass the light call resonance is too stupid and weak to ask any questions. From what time I gathered, this light call resonance sounds like some kind of trial. Is it a test of fighting ability or a test of speed? Ah, it's the latter. That was quick. You guys know your stuff. Collecting certain items in a limited time and getting to the finish line as quickly as possible. This is a form of trial that humans are most familiar with. Are you interested? Oh, I know. Why don't you try it out? No way. Zoring is my yes. No way. Zoring is my yes, boss. You can't casually ask us to help you. It is exactly because she has the honor of being Lady Shirth's yes, young spot that it's good to be her. The yes, spot of Lady Shirth is well renowned among the humans. For Light Call Resonance to meet with her approval would be the highest honor. If Light Call Resonance even becomes an important right for selecting courageous humans, Lady Shirth should deserve all the credit for having made it happen. Just a few moments from you and your Yasuria will bring your name glory. Wouldn't that be nice? Is that so? Ahem. <laughs> of course. I did. I just didn't want a soaring to go running around for nothing. The artists of the skeptic goons have offered me some nice things. They are of no use to me, and I'd happily like give them to the Yaspot and her pale floater as a reward. These things are words for my one. See, sure, that's... A what more can be said? Let's go help Jar Jar. It's called, it's just a speed challenge anyway. It's going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> Can't say I really care about the rewards. But since you're interested, just say yes to Jar Jar and make it quick. Ha la la, how deceptive. Decisive. It looks great. It looks like great Jersey and Spada has a lot of experience and confidence. This is the first simplest test of like small resins. Let's begin whenever you're ready. Nope. Ah, 
in for a penny, in for a pound. You know, scrubs, we always do our best. <laughs> Just to so back the other skeptics as we walk in the park. Hello, no, no, it's a comment. Show, show me your moves. Show me your moves. Turn to Zha Zha's side. Hello, as expected, the lady sure sent her yes by. You made it through these. Be warned, this is just the beginning. I so just get to just land at the time, but wait until the next day and find me at the next location. Okay, so it's going to be a whole day for that. Are you planning to be a seeing us right now? I met a treasure and where it was. Not anything, no matter how difficult it gets. Hey, fine, that was worth the trip. Wait until the following day. Quick, first, let's see what's been achieved. The right to pass through Dark Hollow, gain all the spindards, and from the tarnished defiled chambers, from cleansing the abyss from the of heaven above, the power of the fades of the land. Hail fire. Yeah. Complete Carvenar of good and evil. I thought that's what I did. Oh! <laughs> I have to finish, I have to talk with Catherine. Hey, tomorrow. Says yesterday about the first trial for you. Easy bees, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Not to stop the skeptics from bothering you, just make it your trial as difficult as possible so that no one passes. As long as you give them a hard time from the get go, no one will ever dare miss with you again. Treasure? Mm, no, it's nothing. Let's continue. You know the rules. <laughs> Did she make it as hard as, pos as hard as she could possibly do? Is that why she needed an extra day? Or Zha Zha. Uh, the Trilon. It's gonna change fun. It's not what you need. Okay, I'll float her. Maybe I should be a little more proactive too. Hmm. Some hidden platform mechanics and paths. Yeah. 
Kind of hard to dress, Judge. Ginger. Ah. Sure has been quite helpful. And yet we completed no problem whatsoever. Impressive, you got through the second trial without breaking a sweat. It was supposed to be much more complex than the first. Was I not strict enough with the rules? Should I have cut down the time limit? Georgia looks like she's getting serious. Maybe we've even stirred up her competitive spirit. Could be. Looks like she's thinking about the details of the trial. Is it just her competitive spirit? Have fun to help us The challenge is still not over. It's customary. I need time to prepare for the next trial. Please wait until tomorrow. Oh, glad I saw this. I almost didn't even... What is it? Take the time until next tomorrow. <laughs> I must have been sleepwalking last night. Again. <sighs> well, I probably could have easily gotten from there to over there. Up there, I mean. Yeah. I do like much more so that I can just glide on over to this one. Ah yes, where's your location? Over there, over and down there. Fantastic. Hmm. Hmm. Sha Ah oh, la la, you guys hold up your end of the bargain. Now let's discuss the details of the last trial. For example, did you find the difference in the height between each track too repetitive or the obstacles too sparse? Here she goes again, rambling with words no parry would ever use. Do you really have to talk about such trifling matters before a trial? I don't need to be part of this conversation about nitty-gritty details. You can talk amongst yourselves. And you're just about ready. Come call for me. Sure, at least temporarily. Oh my god. It looks like that last trial wasn't challenging enough for you, Zorwing. I thought about your suggestions, and I think I, it is indeed necessary to make a few modifications that make light fall, call resonance more fearsome. Hmm, why don't you just call me Lady Shuris Yan Boss anymore? Hmm, yeah, now the problem is about it. All the la la la's and her speech are gone. She sounds more, more concise. She really should speak like this more often. When you were talking earlier, you kind of sounded like a skeptic. So it was as if you were putting on airs, as if you were too reverent towards truth. Aren't you supposed to hate the skeptics? Hmm, and we forgot to ask, what, what did the Order of Skeptics want from you? Wow, how perceptive of you. Well, I guess there's no point in hiding it from you. Hmm, where should I start? I knew something was up. Hey, what's the big idea? Pylon's falling behind. No worries, innocent bale floater. It is better not to know these things, as the more you know, the more troublesome it gets. You seem like a tr you seem to like treasure and solely focused on whatever the rewards would make you happy. I'll let a Zorwing deal with all the heavy emotions. No way! Paimon would never let a Zorwing be unhappy alone. Zorwing's gonna listen to you talk. Mm. Is this what they call true friendship? What have I been doing except making a fool of myself? What? All right, enough prattling. Back to business. Come and try another round of light re like call resonance. This is no ordinary trial. You may not make it through this time. Okay, we'll talk later after talking on your painstakingly prepared challenge. You know, compared to the last two, this trial will definitely be challenging for you. If you don't give it your all, you might get knocked down. Let's get started. Something feels off. Did I miss an important conversation? 
Find your earth not too far away and begin the third round of light call. So the mechanics are becoming harder to unlock. Turn to Jajar's side. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, but you must be the ones I've been waiting for. But you're also Lady Shirley Yenspot. Huh? Jajar, you don't look too happy. What happened? What, what happened? What's Jajar's muttering now? Miss Lightcall's resident child was quite a struggle. I'm a little tired, so I didn't quite catch that. It's nothing. Let's focus on the trial. Lady sure seems too tired, and I have also prepared a final, the final track. I'll see you when it's done as usual, then we can chat again. It's very sensible of you. Good, I'll take a short break. My and Spot, next time you meet Jar Jar, go on and chat without me. I'll be nearby having a rest and recuperating my strength. This will give you time to chat about trivial issues that you discussed earlier. <laughs> so... Huh? Uh, oh! Don't worry, sure. <laughs> When the time comes, we'll give Jar Jar some feedback. Wow. Suddenly, I don't feel so tired. Once again, wait until the next day. Hi, ah, yes. What is tomorrow if not a sun that has yet to rise? real quick before I go up there. Hmm. 
her little pretties go plat plat plat. What is that? Creature, I know not why you're here, but I challenge you to a fight. Hmm. Huh. Weird. It's like, what am I supposed to do about that? It's like it has nothing to do with this. Damn it. 
didn't anyway. Then there's this, which clear it's like clearly I'm missing something, but no idea what. Cause like from way over here you can't see the bubble. So you really think you can pull this one off? Of course, like you said, Sora is Lady Shuri's young spot. She eats these challenges for she eats these challenges for breakfast. Tell us the truth first. Yeah, Jar Jar, uh, anything you're not telling us, and Shuri, she spit it out. It's really no big deal. A solitary party tricked by people with ulterior motives, nothing more. I was originally found fond of flying freely in pursuit of speed and skill and arranged many challenges similar to light call resonance, but no parry wanted to enjoy them with me. An order of skeptic Scoon appeared and said he wanted to be my friend. It was obvious that no matter which glider he used, he proved to be an amateur, and yet I felt and yet I fell for his ink and overturns. In the end he saw me as nothing more than an obstreperous sample of ordinary parry to be used. He also tried to get information about an important parry out of me. Important parry must be Zavern. Mm, that's right. Compared with the first parry, the great lady Zavern, I am but a lowly nameless parry that no one cares about. The humans treat me well, but not because of who I am, but because of information I know. Sounds familiar. Actually, Shirts was cheated for the exact same reason. He may be a simplest nameless parry, but I don't give away secrets easily. When I found out the truth, I drove him away. I thought that would be the end of it. But then another human came into contact with me, as if unaware I had just chased his companion away. And these people are all working under Nezhun to think they would do all these things in addition to a tricking shirt. How demeaning. This is why I came up with Light Call Resonance. I wanted to show the humans that only those who have passed the trials have the right to speak with me. What about those who passed the trials? I will never tell them a single thing about Lady Zervan, even if they do pass the trials. This is a matter of principles. Lady Shirth is right. I am a strange furry, always alone. But even, but I won't ever sell out any parry for the sake of being friends with humans. Hmm, that sounds harsh. Shirth's situation isn't quite the same. That's true. But anyway, do you want to make more friends? You want to make more friends, right? It seems a little weird to say right now, but didn't Azorwing pass all the trials? She could be your friend. Azorwing? <laughs> That's right. No. Azorwing is your friend, and sure is the Aspire. How could I? Friendships aren't like those strange one-on-one -on -one master-servant relationships. You can be friends with Paimon and 
Fair enough, and that's all there is to it. Let everyone try out your gliding challenge. Enjoy your light call resonance and be happy. You, you, the treasure. You can have it now, and I don't know how else to express my gratitude. And as for Shrift, never mind. Jar Jar blinked out at almost at the most crucial. That won't do. It's obvious that you're still asking, you're still talking to sure it's like a member of the Order of Skeptics. What do you think of her? Do you hate her? No way. Shirith is such a special party. Her resolve and willpower is something I could never hope to learn. I have a lot of respect for her. I just thought that if the Order of Specs managed speaking could please me could please me to the point where I let my guard down, it must be good enough to make other party feel happy too. I thought it'll make them more willing to talk to me. And to think of it, perhaps I should stop imitating this manner flattered. I should be friends with Shirith my, as my true self. But I am a little scared. If I don't pray sure it's enough, she'll remember the rumors and won't want anything to do with me. What happened? How should Paimon put it? Sure, this is, act is totally different. It's a totally different party now. She was willing to talk to you from the beginning, wasn't she? And since you already have high regard for her, Paimon sure she'll feel your respect, even if you don't use the order of skeptics matter of talking. Let's make a deal. If we pass the trial, you should give it a try. Yeah! There's no going back now. The treasure isn't important in and the treasure isn't important anymore. If we pass the final trial of Light Call Resonance, you have to try to become friends with Shirith. Otherwise, when Azorwing and Paimon travel somewhere else, you'll go back to being a lonely and miserable goddamn pie you're aiming for the throat. Well, at least until the next time someone passes Light Call Resonance, but Paimon has no idea when that'll be. Hey, don't be so Hey, don't be so sure of your success. The last trial will be a challenging one. Let's wait until you complete the trial before crossing the troublesome bridge. <laughs> Won't be underestimated. We got this final challenge in the bag. I mean it this time. For this final trial, I've come up with the hardest setup I can think of. So you better give it your all. <laughs> I mean, get ready to fail. <laughs> Let's go. We'll get through it. If you succeed, you have to make good on your promise and tell Shrith how you really feel. Okay, I'll do my best. You got Shrith nearby and take her with you to begin the final trial of Light Call Resonance. The sun in our eye. Let's go to our ship. Let's find the final trial ahead. Why are you so suddenly enthusiastic, Pale Floater? Yeah, Pale Floater, why the enthusiasm? I shall show you some enthusiasm too. Alright, all of the mechanisms have been unlocked. It would be cool if she just like floated from thing to thing. To Jaja side together, sure, we're still unaware of the situation. <laughs> okay, now all of Jaja's trials are complete. Last trial did feel a little more complex. It took quite some time. Your turn, Jaja. Go ahead and cut to the chase. Ah, la la, Lady Shirth. Of course, lightfall resonance would be slightly difficult. How would you have bothered your Jasmine to come and have a look otherwise? If it ended too soon, light call resonance wouldn't do. Served to become a proper testing ritual, and it would have been a waste of your precious time. I hope you understand. Fair point. I'll let the matter go then. Sure, sure. What's going on? What's at that tone? Yeah, I haven't shown you you really are. I can't help it. I'm not ready. I can't even get the words out. I can't just tell sure that I've been copying the skeptic's manner of seat. She'll get really mad, that's for sure, even though it, the thought of it's terrifying. What are you muttering about? 
Anyway, my ass, what, what do you think about Jar Jar Jar? It's got great potential. And I guess there really is something special about it, since even the Zorwing says so. Surely wouldn't be a bad thing to spend more time with her. Ahem, you may consider me your most distinguished friend, Jar Jar. Not many among the par are that lucky. <laughs> friend? If I build a more powerful trial that like on Redlands, would you consider it giving it a try yourself? It's hard to say. I have a busy schedule, you know. However, on the way or occurrence, when time permits, I'll think about it. Thank you so very much, Leisure. I, I, I promise I'll do my best to create the most satisfactory trial for you. Why the sudden excitement? You still have a lot to learn to how to, about how to socialize with other brewery. Should we say that thanks to Shirith's intensity, intensity, insensitivity, that's the word. I was like, intensity? No. <laughs> insensitivity? Shashar's problem has been inadvertently surprised. Oh, that means it's a good ending. Wonderful. Yeah, I hope they get along now, too. Uh, like a resident child is just right for someone as tall as you, right? But don't you think Tris is a little too small for the trial? I'm just imagining her stomping her feet in anger when she fails. The brave shall not falter. Also, I just had a half of a thought. Because I was like, from a distance, it doesn't even look like there's a barrier. And then I was like, oh, it's because from a distance, there is no barrier. Freaking hell. Of course, I could be totally wrong. Look at the trucker. See if there was amber in the vicinity. Or not amber, nectar from that from those one flowers. I'd be like, ah oh, yes, this is exactly what I need to do. And here, let's talk to Cat, Catherine. a moment to laugh then we'll get where we need to go all right 
Okay, Catherine. Welcome back. I have received notice from the Academia that you were able to successfully solve the problem posed by this strange celestial sign. Very impressive. I'll say that you exceeded expectations on this count. Oh, I thought you said we were the best choice for this job. Or do you say that the little or everyone? No, of course not. I believed you could do it. Ah, yes. We did ask you to contact the Nigerians previously. Were they of any help to you? It's a bit complicated. It seems that things got complicated. However, it is all ultimately a part of your adventures and experience it itself an irre irreplaceable treasure. Since you've managed to successfully finish that commission, the guild should now have permission to investigate the Kahanian ruins. If any related commissions do come up, you'll also get first priority in our considerations. You know, we've come all this way, but we still don't know who our commissioner was. Well, the Adventurers Guild is obliged to keep the identities of those who submit commissions confidential. As such, I'm afraid I cannot reveal that to you. However, the person who gave us that token did claim to have been a light novelist. Light novelist? Wait a moment, didn't we hit there as a skeptic elder? Hmm, it does look like you know something about this, but... Well, that has nothing to do with the Guild. Either way, the rumination from the Academia is here with me. Feel please, who please feel free to take it. I cannot get choked up over the last words. Meanwhile, over here, everything's all decked out for a festival that I'm going to catch the end of. And it takes us to Port Ormos. Let's go to the other side of Sumeru City, though. <laughs> Oh wait, I forgot to collect my daily commissions. <laughs> Oof. How's the reputation? Is that? Honestly, it's outstanding. Even if I haven't completed all the achievements. Oh gosh. Oh dear. That is a lot more than I thought there was. I thought there was like five or six. Not how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Gosh, <laughs> you're twenty-one. Yeah. <sighs> Even though I'm like so disappointed in myself, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. I very much like completely and utterly just like ran out of steam around the time that Sumeru appeared Add like when you play a game every day it it slowly just Add kills your enthusiasm for it like no matter how much you like it it's like it'll it'll go up for quite a while but eventually you just reach a point where it just crashes and Burns and for me, that was about the time Sumeru came out. I mean, I just came in, did my dailies, left. I didn't want to be here any longer than absolutely necessary. I remember. And then Fontaine came out, and I was like, like looking at this, night three, night four, night six, eight, like 70s. Here's a 70, another 70 over here. These two just recently got over 200. And it's like in Fontaine, just by chance, I started picking back up again. Like these are at 100. There's an 80 over here, 90s, low 90s, mid to low 90s. And then there's the, then I started running out of steam again. And then Natland, I've just apparently just picked it back up again again because like these two are at 100 these who are like high 90 and a low 90 mid and low 90. so it's just like peaks and valleys highs lows and it's like nothing wrong with that it happens sometimes everyone's got wind of how super festival is now full scene zoom air and you're both happily set off returning to the nation of na nature and wisdom yeah, yeah. The only thing that I can think of, of why those two quests needed to be done, was simply because, well, um, what's the word for it? 
like the Sheriff, like Sheriff and the other Perry, 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 are, if I had to hazard a guess, they'd make an appearance. I was like, where's the Farinara Force? It's it's slightly to the left. <sighs> Do I even have... I have 69. Nice. Also, just like, periodically... Like the R and R quest line, where they're having their own little R and R festival and all that. Like, I've occasionally ran into a few R and R here and there, and just done their quests because it just seemed like simple little things. And I'll hold you that they did seem like simple things. I'm one short. Ugh. Eh, it's not like the next one. I have, I have 12. I have a dozen. How, how convenient. What pleasant numbers. I also have 10 shiny ones. But I have these two characters. Let's make a wish here. And nothing spectacular. Hey, we got the duckling. Alright. I am aiming for Hu Tao's weapon, so... Let's give it one pull. No more, no less. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, since it's so kind, <laughs> even when we're not looking up. All right, first things first, Mika, little duckling here. Second thing, second, Hu Tao. I got a weapon befitting of your freak. <laughs> Compliment. Also, just polearm characters. Who wields polearms? Baby. Crit rate. I'm like, is she even a damage dealer? Because, like... Who Tao has her weapon? She has her weapon. Oh, Shen Ho? Or at least I'm partial to this one. Elemental burst damage as opposed to what did I have before? This, which is normal and charges like additional damage by 20%. Meanwhile, this is an elemental burst. Yeah, I'm gonna give her this. I'm gonna switch over this. As opposed to this, which I just don't feel like compliments her. I might just give it to you. But yeah, Archipelago has her weapon.
Also, when were you, since when were you five stars? I'm, I'm just apparently a particular love student. What kind of, what do you do? What do you do? Tell me what you do. Thorn damage. Uh, damage. And then, what does the weapon do? Crit ray. Normal attack speed. Sure. Unless I can find a character that fits that even better, you can have it. The stars? They're always there. Oh, watching over us. I said what I meant. I'm not even going to try to go for this little lady's um, a little I'm not even going to try to go for this little lady's thousand, a thousand floating dreams. Yeah. Until next time, darlings. <laughs>